Welcome. I am a virtual avatar and also your guide to this video. As we all know, gesturing is an important part of speaking. It adds emphasis and clarity to the speech and conveys essential non-verbal information that make the speech lively and persuasive. There are rich demands for high-quality 3D gesture animation in many industries, such as virtual avatars, game characters, and social robots. However, automatically generating co-speech gestures is a challenging task because of the inherent one-to-many mapping between a speech and gestures. And also, the temporal coherence between the gestures and the speech is an essential of the naturalness. In this paper, we propose a new rhythm and semantics aware co speech gesture synthesis system that can generate natural looking gestures to accompany a speech, such as my introduction to this video. Our system consists of three core components. The data module pre processes a speech, segments it into normalized blocks according to the rhythm of the speech, and extracts features from these blocks. Then, the interpreter module translates the speech features into gesture lexemes and style codes. Lastly, the generator module synthesizes a realistic gesture sequence using the gesture lexemes, the style codes, as well as the features of the previous motion block and the adjacent speech blocks. We train these components on a speech gesture dataset and use them for new speeches at runtime. Please refer to our paper for more details. Okay, next, please enjoy our visualization results. You know, self-confidence, all that kind of stuff, that's good. But the thing is, once you start selling something like Kung Fu as that, as like self-defense, especially, or like Tai Chi, God forbid, um, then you have people. But the thing is that if you've actually like fought people, if you've actually like done stuff like Thai kickboxing or things like that. That have impacts around the world and sometimes when it comes through TED, it has meaning and power that it doesn't have when it doesn't. My favorite and most successful app is Bustin Jeeber, which is, <laughs> which is a Justin Bieber whack-a-mole. Truth be told, uh, I never graduated from college and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> Today, I want to tell you three stories from my life. That's it. No big deal. Just three stories. De manière culturelle, artistique, sociale, mais aussi émotionnelle. Aujourd'hui, on se demande encore comment est-ce que tant de gens sont venus et sont revenus que pensemos, que soñemos, que nos imaginemos y que nos emocionemos. Y eso es lo que voy a intentar hacer ahora en estos minutos eh, con la compañía también de una persona que os voy a presentar ahora. Yo llevo 15 años recorriendo el mundo con mis cámaras. I am here with students at Wakefield High School in Arlington, Virginia. And we've got students tuning in from all across America, from kindergarten through 12th grade. And I am just so glad that all could join us today. And I want to thank Wakefield for being such an outstanding host. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Now, I know that for many of you, today is the first day of school. And for those of you in kindergarten or starting middle or high school, it's your first day in a new school, so it's understandable if you're a little nervous. I imagine there are some seniors out there who are feeling pretty good right now. Or have this urge to check our Twitter feed. So what's going on here? It turns out that we're fighting one of the most evolutionarily conserved learning processes currently known in science one that's conserved back to the most basic nervous systems known to man. This reward-based learning process is called positive and negative reinforcement and basically goes like this. We see some food that looks good. Our brain says, calories, survival. We eat the food, we taste it, it tastes good. And especially with sugar, our bodies send a signal to our brain that says, remember what you're eating and where you found it. We lay down this context-dependent memory and learn to repeat the process next time. See food, 
eat food, feel good, repeat. Trigger, behavior, reward. Simple, right? Just straight and kind of. And there's this fantastic thing where, like, um, like my dad made some sort of like inappropriate joke uh, or something like that, and I like. Oh, so, like the the problem, like that's perfectly fine. But then there's stuff when when you start selling it as a like self defense thing, which a lot of martial arts like that's how you just just kind of austere and uh, just like well carried um, man, just like kind of you know like like that old classic like granddad kind of figure. Of gen like I just scribble it out. I'm like oh look, there's a big thing that looks like a shark. Might be Jaws, who knows? And I could just like let that happen and I let myself have that experience um, while also getting a lot of stuff out of it. And like, that's a big thing because a lot of people get paralyzed by like overanalyzing. Still couldn't figure out what kind of legs to use, couldn't find any resources that could help me. So I decided to make a pair myself. Just, just kind of austere and uh, just like well carried um, man, just like kind of you know, like like that old classic like granddad kind of figure, gentlemanly figure kind of thing, I suppose. There are so many people. More monkeys are here. No water, no food. Never give up. He is my best friend. Please believe me. Starting middle or high school. You are the top one. But the thing is that if you've actually like fought people, if you've actually like done stuff like Thai kickboxing or things like that, I don't know. Well, anyway, like they were being really petty, and they were saying that, like, no, he has to keep, uh, he has to keep his mustache. It's an essential part of the character. He can't. And you know, like you'd have people that would comment, like, this is bad, sad face or whatever. I don't know. This is you're an idiot, lol. Um, but like for ages, like that's why YouTube was, where people were just like, I'm just gonna put this thing and make, like, put it out there in the world, and it doesn't matter. Henry, Henry Cavill, who's the actor for Superman, he, uh, apparently, he's doing another film with Paramount Pictures. No one will ever pay you what you're worth. No one will ever pay you what you're worth. Thank you for watching and hope you are satisfied with my service. At last, to demonstrate the robustness of our method for rhythmic perception, let me play some music, hope you will enjoy it.